The National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration is an independent agency of the United States federal government responsible for the civilian space program, as well as aeronautics and aerospace research. NASA was established in 1958, succeeding the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics NACA. The new agency was to have a distinctly civilian orientation, encouraging peaceful applications in space science. Since its establishment, most U.S. space exploration efforts have been led by NASA, including the Apollo moon landing missions, the Skylab space station, and later the Space Shuttle. NASA is supporting the International Space Station and is overseeing the development of the Orion Multipurpose Crew Bay. Pickle, the Space Launch System and Commercial Crew Vehicles. The agency is also responsible for the Launch Services Program which provides oversight of launch operations and countdown management for unmanned NASA launches. NASA science is focused on better understanding Earth through the Earth Observing System, advancing heliophysics through the efforts of the Science Mission Directorate's Heliophysics Research Program, exploring bodies throughout the solar system with advanced robotic spacecraft missions such as New Horizons, and researching astrophysics topics, such as the Big Bang, through the great observatories and associated programs. From 1946, the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics NACA, had been experimenting with rocket planes such as the supersonic Bell X-1. In the early 1950s, there was challenge to launch an artificial satellite for the International Geophysical Year, 1957-1958, resulting in the American Project Vanguard among others. After the Soviet launch of the world's first artificial satellite, Sputnik 1, on October 4, 1957, the attention of the United States turned toward its own fledgling space efforts. The U.S. Congress, alarmed by the perceived threat to national security and technological leadership, known as the Sputnik Crisis, urged immediate and swift action. President Dwight D. Eisenhower and his advisors counseled more deliberate measures. On January 12, 1958, NACA organized a special committee on space technology, headed by Guyford Stever. The U.S. public's perception of the Soviet led in the space race by putting the first man into space, motivate. D. President John F. Kennedy to ask the Congress on May 25, 1961, to commit the federal government to a program to land a man on the moon by the end of the 1960s, which effectively launched the Apollo program. Apollo was one of the most expensive American scientific programs ever. It cost more than $20 billion in 1960s dollars or an estimated $218 billion in present-day U.S. dollars. It used the Saturn rockets as launch vehicles, which were far bigger than the rockets built for previous projects. The spacecraft was also bigger, it had two main parts, the Combined Command and Service Module, CSM, and the Apollo Lunar Module, LM. The LM was to be left on the moon and only the command module, CM, containing the three astronauts would eventually return to Earth. The second manned mission, Apollo 8 brought astronauts for the first time in a flight around the moon in December 1968. Shortly before, the Soviets had sent an unmanned spacecraft around the moon. 
next two missions docking maneuvers that were needed for the moon landing were practiced a ND then finally the moon landing was made on the Apollo 11 mission in July 1969. The first person to stand on the moon was Neil Armstrong, who was followed 19 minutes later by Buzz Aldrin, while Michael Collins orbited above. Five subsequent Apollo missions also landed astronauts on the moon, the last in December 1972. Throughout these six Apollo space flights, 12 men walked on the moon. These missions returned a wealth of scientific data and 381.7 kilograms, 842 pounds, of lunar samples. Topics covered by experiments performed included soil mechanics, meteoroids, seismology, heat flow, lunar ranging, magnetic fields, and solar wind. The moon landing marked the end of the space race, and as a gesture, Armstrong mentioned mankind when he stepped down on the moon. In 2017, NASA was directed by the Congressional NASA Transition Authorization Act of 2017 to get humans to Mars orbit, or to the Martian surface by 2033. More than 1,000 uncrewed missions have been designed to explore the Earth and the solar system. Besides exploration, communication satellites have also been launched by NASA. The missions have been launched directly from Earth or from orbiting space shuttles, which could either deploy the satellite itself, or with a rocket stage to take it farther. In response to the Apollo 1 accident, which killed three astronauts in 1967, Congress directed NASA to form an Aerospace Safety Advisory Panel, ASAP to advise the NASA Administrator on safety issues and hazards in NASA's aerospace programs. In the aftermath of the Shuttle Columbia disaster, Congress required that the ASAP submit an annual report to the NASA Administrator and to Congress. By 1971, NASA had also established the Space Program Advisory Council and the Research and Technology Advisory Council to provide the Administrator Y.T.H. Advisory Committee support. In 1977, the latter two were combined to form the NASA Advisory Council NAC. John F. Kennedy Space Center KSC, is one of the best-known NASA facilities. It has been the launch site for every United States human space flight since 1968. Although such flights are currently on pause, KSC continues to manage and operate unmanned rocket launch facilities for America's civilian space program from three pads at the adjoining Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. NASA also operates a short line railroad at KSC and uses special aircraft. Lyndon B. Johnson Space Center, JSC, in Houston is home to the Christopher C. Kraft Jr. Mission Control Center, where all flight control is managed for manned space missions. JSC is the lead NASA center for activities regarding the International Space Station and also houses the NASA Astronaut Corps that selects, trains, and provides astronauts as crew members for U.S. and international space missions. Another major facility is Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama at which the Saturn V rocket and Skylab were developed. The JPL worked together with ABMA, one of the agencies behind Explorer 1, the first American space mission. Numerous other facilities are operated by NASA, including the Wallops Flight Facility in Wallops Island, Virginia, the Mashad Assembly Facility in New Orleans, Louisiana, the White Sands Test Facility in Las Cruces, New Mexico, and Deep Space Network stations in Barstow, California, Madrid, Spain, and Canberra, Australia. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Footprints for more videos.